AMD and Nvidia are duking it out over who's got the best flagship GPU, which bodes well for us because more competition means better outcomes for us. Another good thing is we are no longer duking it out with miners and scalpers for GPUs. So now that the market is getting better, we can finally get our hands on Nvidia's sweetheart GPU, the RTX 3070. Now I say sweetheart because originally, Nvidia actually did us gamers a solid. They gave us a GPU, at a mid-tier price that was comparable to a previous generation flagship GPU. The question is now, is it as good as we think it is? What's up guys, my name is Juan and you're watching my channel Blue From PC. So your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, well, you've made this mistake before and I can no longer help you. So we all know how this fairy tale started with the video card shortage and everything like that. And now that the market is improving and we can actually finally get to our happy ending and buy these cards, we need to know how well they actually perform two years after launch. So there's one main goal of this video. That's to see if the RTX 3070 is actually any good at 1440p gaming. To be honest, I was a little surprised by the benchmarks, but we'll get to that in a few. Now, most gamers are still gaming in 1080p, which is perfectly fine, but I honestly feel like that's going to start to shift here soon now that 6000 series and 30 series GPUs are becoming cheaper and we can actually buy them just in general. So, like I already noted, we're going to talk about this GPU in 1440p, see how well it performs, talk about a few talking points after the benchmarks here. Uh, quick note too, I will be doing a comparison video for this versus the 6700 XT to kind of see who really wins the, you know, mid-tier 1440p showdown. Before we jump in, with my benchmarks, guys, I do it at low, medium, and high settings. No tweaks, no adjustments, just default low, medium, high settings. So you have room to tweak and finagle it from there. I do not use RTX or DLSS. I leave that for you guys to choose what you prefer and don't because in all honesty, I love RTX. Not everybody does. DLSS, I have mixed feelings on and a lot of people, again, same thing. Some people love it, some people hate it. So I leave that for up to you to decide. I'm just showing you the true raw performance of what this graphics card can do at 1440p with no boosts or anything to help buff performance. Now, I also have what I consider an average gamer's test bench. It's designed to be more of what most people are going to have at home. Now, please compare this to other YouTubers who use the higher end full tilt test benches, as this will give you a broader spectrum of how the card will actually perform when you bring it home. Now, I do this so I can give you guys real world grounded results and not give you hopes and dreams if you don't have the specs that they do on those test benches. But it's good to know where your peak can be. So that's why I say do compare the two. If you like what you see today and you have a better spec system than what my test bench is, expect to see better results. So just think about that as a win when you bring it home. Hey, I should see at least that most likely better. So let's go ahead, let's jump into them and we'll talk about some more details when we get back.
Alrighty, now that you've seen the benchmarks, you know obviously well that this is a pretty damn solid card when it comes to 1440p, and if you expected less, I'm not really sure what to tell you because, again, the 2080 Ti was a strong, stout card, and again, this is a second cousin, sister's bodyguard, something sort of close and related to this guy. Now, that's likely why, unfortunately, these and 3060 Ti's are holding their value, let's say. They're still staying a little higher in the market than I would like to see, especially right now, they've kind of actually gone up a little bit in price, closer to that 6 to 650 marker, which I would love to say, if you can, buy these at 5 to 550. And that's honestly the biggest caveat right now with these is price to performance. And like I said, I have a comparison video coming up for these versus the RTX, sorry, versus the RX 6700 XT. So please get subscribed because it's a lot tighter race than I thought. In all honesty, I thought Nvidia was going to slaughter 1440p, but again, it's closer than I anticipated. And there's a lot of things to consider when you're looking at this versus a 6700 XT. Couple quick buying tips with these. One, I already told you, five to 550, that's the price that I would personally like to stay into. You can go up to like 600. I think that's still getting just too much at the present moment. But again, if it's the version you want, a great cooler, and it just checks all the, you know, the little boxes that meets for you for a 3070, if it's your absolutely ideal dream 3070, sure, go up to 600. I still think anything over six is just too damn expensive for the performance you get because there's a lot of other good competitors in the market. If you're looking at shopping used, one thing to consider, one, obviously, your source. If you're doing eBay, Facebook, something, see if they'll tell you what the car is used for. If they upgraded, now the cards are available and they're just trying to sell off their old card. If it was mined on, I'd really be cautious just because, you know, if you don't know the source that well, who knows how well they took care of it. But if you're buying used, ideally, 350 I think is a solid price. I think it's a fair price. Uh, I'd say go up to like 450 because once you start getting too close to the MSRP that you can buy one for, which is like, they're, some of them do dangle around that $500 mark, I'd rather spend the extra 50 bucks on a new option with a warranty so you don't have to stress about what can come from it. Now, I do want to note a couple other things really quick here. Some of you may notice I'm wearing glasses in this video. Well, I hurt my left eye installing my 4090, and I'll go into more detail with that in the actual video for the 4090. Um, yeah, it's mostly my fault. Um, there's some indirect causes of that. But uh, we'll talk about that more later. And outside of that, guys, I'm going to throw up some videos over here for you to check out that might help you in deciding if you're thinking about this or Team Red. So go ahead, check those out, and uh, hit that like, subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.